say AAPI, Asian American, Native Hawaiian, Pacific Islander, during this auspicious month of May. Like many Asian countries, our heritage is built on diversity, cultural background, which creates a vibrant richness. You can see we are not a monolith. We have so many Asian countries here represented, and we're such a wonderful tapestry of the beauty of what is Asian American. And I believe when we do our best work, especially in public service and in arts and in storytelling, that that work, we cherish our roots, roots that blend our traditions and our beliefs and practices passed down through the generations, as we see through our seniors, our elders here, to the youngest kids who are sharing in this day. Again, my name is Maria Cervania, and I'm your North, your North Carolina State Representative. And I'm so very honored to have been your first Asian American to serve you on the Wake County Commission. And I'm also very honored to serve um, on the shoulders of Senator Jay Chowdhury, Senator Mushtaba Mohammed, and together with Representative Yalu to be your first two women to serve this great state of North Carolina. And just for my Filipino community, you've given me the honor, and actually all the Asian Americans, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you and to be the first Filipino ever to serve North Carolina in any elected. Filipino, being Asian, we're not only, sh it hasn't just shaped me today, but it's, it's deeply influenced my identity and my service. And I know that that's true for a lot of us here. For my family, that intermix between Malay and Chinese, Spanish, and American cultures, and the legacy of resilience and that tenacity through personal experience as it's set against the world's history, has made up the complexity and the beauty of, of my identity. But it also is the story of all of our identities. And sometimes people think it's just simply in the Asian community. But when we all look, every one of us in North Carolina think about it, we are so intertwined together. It shows us that our interconnectedness, this is what's, what symbolizes the strength the wisdom and the inspiration we have in one another. We are standing in rooms now that we could have never been so many years ago. And we're pulling chairs to those tables that we talk about that we've never been able to do and been turned away so many times. But events like this, opportunities from leaders like Governor Cooper, he's He's welcoming us, not only to pull up that chair, but actually speak, speak for our communities and be able to contribute to build this wonderful state we have in North Carolina and be the best state in all the United States in that. But there are many things that are harming our community and we can't forget that, that it discourages us, but we can't be discouraged. Immigration laws that are are making more difficult for us to remain here or have our families join us here. Anti-Asian hate that, and violence that has been plaguing us, not only during the time of the pandemic, but for years, decades, centuries, as we reflect on our history. Gerrymandering, or I'll try to be as nice as possible, redistricting has made our voices more quiet. We can't have that. University officials that want to eliminate DEI, these are the, the doors that have opened so many of us to be able to excel, to thrive, to contribute. We cannot lose our hope. We have to maintain our hope. You have a powerful voice. You look at each other in this building in this room and never allow anyone to say that you don't have that power and that you don't deserve to voice your your voice and your cause we are the voice of america 
We are the voice of the future of America. And all the way back, as I recognize that the Hmong um, community has, the first Asians were actually Filipinos who came to Morro Bay. And we've touched souls, as many of our countries have, touched the souls of Americans to where they know our hearts and minds are here to build a better America. So be that sweet we will, and let them know we are here and we need to be recognized and heard. So by joining us today, you have the opportunity to show our strength. We are showing our strength today. And that strength comes with passion and commitment to growing a better North Carolina for not just our Asian people, but all people in North Carolina. Thank you so much. Woo!